In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the pros and cons of the Springer Spaniel. This loving breed was originally bred to be a gun dog and still does a top-notch job today. But just what is this dog made of? Let's find out. Welcome back to the Fenrir Springer Spaniel Show. My name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Springer Spaniels. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Springer Spaniels. So if you're a lifelong Springer Spaniel lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Springer Spaniel, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Springer Spaniel video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll see just what this amazing breed is made of. Perhaps the biggest pro on the Springer Spaniels list is that they make for amazing family dogs. They're known for their even temperament and more so their patience when it comes to children of all ages. They're renowned for being especially well behaved for toddlers. Though as young Springer Spaniels can be boisterous, it's always best to supervise playtime just in case. They enjoy interactive games and as they mature slowly you'll get lots of puppy years out of this breed that you and your children can both enjoy. These dogs can also be socialised to do well with other animals including cats and dogs. Springers are quick to learn new things and will have no problem picking up on the fact that they aren't supposed to chase other animals around the house. Though, as with many working dogs, they are prone to separation anxiety, they form a strong bond with their owner and their family and tend to become stressed when left alone for long periods of time. They can be taught that being left alone isn't a bad thing, but it still isn't advised to leave them alone for more than a few hours or stress can lead to destructive and unwanted behaviours. These dogs require at least two hours of exercise a day as they are working dogs. This can come in the form of several brisk walks throughout the day or vigorous playtime in the yard. This breed also matures more slowly than others and you can look forward to the puppy energy until they're about two or three years of age. This means extra time spent playing with and wearing your canine companion out to keep them happy and healthy. It can be quite the commitment and these dogs aren't recommended for those who are sed and these dogs aren't recommended for those who are sedentary. Springers are best suited for those who enjoy a lot of time in the outdoors or who work outside and would like a loyal companion to tag along. They also need a lot of mental stimulation to be happy or they may become bored and exhibit unwanted behaviors that lead to damaged items in the home. They're excellent to train for dog sports such as retriever, field trials and agility. Springers are highly trainable dogs, they want to please and have an extremely friendly disposition which makes for a great dog when it comes to training. If a dog could be considered an extrovert, this breed is it. Because they're energetic and willing in nature, they'll hang on every command given and training can be a great opportunity for children to bond with their companion animal. Though training should be started as early as possible and done properly, if it's not, Springers may show more of their independent side and may become more difficult to train. It can be difficult for both dog and owner if boundaries aren't properly set. It can lead to confusion on the dog's part and frustration for the owner that their pooch just isn't listening. It's especially important to start training early because these dogs mature more slowly, so this breed isn't recommended for first time owners. Grooming isn't the easiest for this breed either. They have a long coat and their love of exploring means their fur gets dirty quickly and will pick up debris. A springer will need to be brushed daily to keep their coat from getting matted and to keep it free of dirt and tangles. It's especially important to keep an eye on any place with feathering, such as the ears, neck, legs, elbows, rear and feet. Most people even opt to have their springer spaniel professionally bathed and groomed to keep their coat healthy and looking its best. Even the fur between the springer spaniel's paw pads can benefit from being trimmed. It will help keep anything from getting stuck between the toes and make it more comfortable for them to walk. These dogs also love the water and regular baths will be necessary to help keep them clean. And because they like the water so much, keeping their ears dry to prevent infections is important. It may be helpful to trim the hair under the ear flaps to help with circulation. Springer Spaniels are generally healthy dogs and live between 12 to 14 years, but have some problems as all purebred dogs do. The most common problem to be on the lookout for is hip dysplasia. The likelihood of this can be lessened by good breeding, but there's no way to rule it out entirely. You'll also want to be on the lookout for hereditary eye diseases such as progressive retinal atrophy and primary glaucoma. 
Both of these impact a dog's sight and can lead to total blindness. There are tests that can be done to see if a dog is predisposed to the problem, but neither can be reversed. Fucosidosis is another disorder to be on the lookout for. It's a metabolic disorder and DNA testing is available. It's generally present early on and has symptoms such as loss of coordination, inability to control movement, loss of sight or hearing, and even possibly changes in the temperament. Phosphofructokinase deficiency, or PFK, is another metabolic disorder this breed may inherit. It causes the red blood cells and muscles to not produce enough energy for the dog's needs. Springers are also prone to epilepsy, allergies and eating disorders. So to recap the pros for this breed, they are great with children of all ages, good with other animals, good for those with an active lifestyle, really easy to train and are relatively healthy. The cons are that they are not so good for those with a sedentary lifestyle. Prone to separation anxiety, can have an independent streak, require a lot of grooming and they may develop some severe medical conditions. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Springer Spaniel videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Springer Spaniel Show.